What's up everybody? So I am taking a break from finishing out the modifications to make this a properly working DeWalt Freak, or I've been calling it the Frankenstein. I will be giving that away, and if you guys are interested in a giveaway, please watch until the end of the video, and I will tell you how to enter my giveaway. Now back to today's subject. This is Hercules's 3 8 compact impact wrench, and frankly, it sucks. It is probably the weakest compact impact I have ever used. Uh, the previous generation from Hercules was stronger. I'm not saying it's a horrible tool or anything, it's just not all that strong. And let's just give you a quick example here. That is in the highest speed setting. We have a fully charged 4 amp hour extreme performance battery. This isn't really what compact impact wrenches are made for, but we have a 4 inch lag right here. First, I wasn't all that impressed with the Hercules impact driver. I have used it a lot more than I expected I was going to, and it is actually quite strong, and I think it is definitely stronger than this. Let's switch this over real quick. Same battery in the highest speed setting. So even just pulling the trigger, you can tell that this thing is stronger. So I think you guys can see where I'm going with this. Today, we are going to be trying to merge these two together. Really, all I need from this is this anvil, hopefully, and we're going to replace that collet in there. this it's kind of like a honeycomb I like that that's what we need This might be a bit more of a chore than I was wanting it to be. Alright, here we go. After quite some time, I was able to get this thing apart and I had to bore out the nose cone. We are good to go on that part. Uh, now, this is the only grease I have and it's uh, definitely the wrong grease but we're gonna put it in there anyway. Some uh, incorrect grease. Alright, now let's see if we can get this thing pieced back together. Uh, 
Yeah, it may have broken just slightly on the disassemble portion off screen. Got a little bit angry, but <laughs> yeah. This is actually reverse thread, so I was trying to loosen it going left, but left is actually tidy. Lefty tidy, righty loosey for the Hercules, and uh, I wasn't aware of that at first, and this was very fragile. I kind of clamped it down in my vise and just tried to turn it, and that came right off. Hopefully, it'll still work. I think this thing looks pretty sick as an impact wrench. I really wish Hercules would actually make something like this. But one of the issues with this is stuff is clearly not fitting right. This anvil is not supposed to be in there. It's a lot longer than the collet and anvil that it came with. So typically this thing's sitting about right here, but this anvil is squishing this whole thing so you can see it's really not lined up that great. So it is getting hot even without a load. And it's very loud. It's because it's rubbing inside of here and that's getting hot already. That's what the original looks like. And this is what the 3 8 looks like on there. Let me take that down just a little bit more. Okay, maybe I'm just dumb, I don't know. If you guys have any um, helpful tips or what you think could be going on, uh, I don't know, I'm an idiot. I'm just, I'm just experimenting. Uh, I am no, by no means an expert and I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I work on conveyors, not power tools. Well everybody, that is gonna conclude today's video. Uh, I can't seem to get this thing just right yet. I think it is still having to overwork to turn that anvil. Uh, I tried to mimic this one as much as possible. I shaved them down and tried to reshape them a little bit. But, uh, you know, it's either the motor's overworking and it's getting really hot that it's sparking. And it's just overworking way too much. I mean, it's not supposed to be in there, obviously. But I am very open to any critique or word of advice or you know any ideas you guys might have because I really want to get this thing working I do think it 
when it starts working, it's going to be better than this pile of crap. It's going to be stronger. I really hope so, at least. And I appreciate you guys for sticking through it with me. This is going to be a longer video than I typically have. Let me make sure everyone knows this. I am by no means any expert if you were thinking I was trying to claim that. I'm just messing around here. I am experimenting. I don't know anything of what I'm doing. I'm just going with the flow. I am a conveyor mechanic. This is not a conveyor. I don't know what I'm doing is what I'm saying. So if you guys do maybe have a better idea as to what I could do to get this thing working, very open to it. Also, I am doing a giveaway for my last experiment, which will be over as soon as I get a drill press. All I have to do is make this hole like an eighth inch deeper so it can sit on there make full contact on the anvil and i'll send it to somebody who wants it all you have to do is be a subscriber i'm going to set up everything else i believe uh there's a lot of different rules that you have to follow to do a giveaway on youtube and i'm trying to make sure i am compliant with all of them and i heard something about a gleam.io will do like a third party giveaway for you and if you guys have any experience with that, please let me know. I want to get something out to you guys. Currently, I'm at 963 subscribers right now, I believe. I'm getting very close to my 1,000 subscriber goal. And that is going to be my first giveaway. Once I hit 1,000 subscribers, I will be giving away that DeWalt Freak or Frankenstein, whichever one I decide to call it eventually. And it'll go to one of you. Uh, whoever does end up getting it. Please understand, you don't have a warranty on it. If anything happens to it, you will have to let me know, and I'll try my best to make it right for you. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this entire video. And please subscribe, and that will enter you for my giveaway. Peace out.